Hello and welcome everyone. Um, this is the part 6 of a series of tutorial on ASP.NET Core pages which were written originally by the Microsoft team on ASP.NET Core uh, led by Rick Anderson and I have given them due credit to their contribution on the description of the YouTube video and if you like the videos please put your likes and then you know just subscribe to the videos now this part of the series includes adding search capabilities to the existing web application that we have been building so far what we'll do is that you know we'll first start with the updating the index pages on get async method so index.cshtml.cs so I will just copy from my clipboard just to save time and paste in the existing code and then pass a search string to the on get async method now this first line of this on get async method creates a link query to the select the movies which is var movies equals from m in underscore context dot movie select m now this query is only defined at this point it has not been run against the database if the search string parameter contains a string then the movie query is modified to filter on the search string that's in this part Now the s goes to s dot title dot contains here is a lambda expression. Lambdas are used in method based link queries as arguments to standard query operator methods such as the where method or the contains method. Now the link queries are not executed when they are defined or when they are modified by calling a method such as where contains or order by rather query execution is deferred that means the evaluation of an expression is delayed until it is realized value is iterated over or the to list async method is called so its query execution is deferred till this to list async method is called the contains method is run on the database not in the c sharp code the case sensitivity on the query depends on the database and the collision. On SQL Server contains maps to SQL like SQL like which is case insensitive. In the SQL like with the default collision it's case sensitive. Navigate to the movies page and append a query string such as so we'll just run this application. wait for it to run and append a query string over there click on enter and we come up with two records with the matching string ghost now we'll just stop the application If the following route template is added to the index page, the search string can be passed as a URL segment. You know, that is, the at page directive is changed. The CSHTML file, the top at page directive in this uh, index page, is changed to something like um, curly braces within which search string and a um, optional 
query parameter question mark is there now this and if we just save and then this run this application once again So if we front slash and then ghost and then click on enter, it will come up with the same result. Now this route that we have written over here, this one, allows searching the title as a route data, which is a URL segment instead of a query string value. The, this um, question mark is an optional parameter. However, you can't expect users to modify the URL to search for a movie. So now next, this a UI is added to filter the movies. So if you added the route constraint, remove it. So we have added this in the previous example. So we'll remove it, save it, and we'll add some more code to for a UI in the CSHTML index view file just below this create new okay again save it and then I'll come back to the browser again refresh the browser okay you have to restart the application um, just wait for the browser to come up again yeah it has come up now taking a wee bit of time to refresh the browser so click on the RP movie now there's the title there's a filter button and this input box so now I will write cursed and click on the filter and the same result appears you know it searches with ghost as we had in the query string so what happens is that when you um, put the filter parameter over there and click on the filter the search string is posted to the uh, index.cshtml.cs file and it appears over here now next we'll search by the jenner what we'll do is add a few more lines of code we'll put two properties um, just below the movie field we'll put select list genres and string movie genres so select list so it is this squiggly line so click on quick action and refactoring we'll put this using statement and that will take care of the squiggly line now the select list genres contains the list of genres this allows the user to select a genre from the list and the movie genre property contains the specific gen genre the user selects for example western genre now next is we'll have to further update the on get async um, method so we'll just copy the entire thing from my notepad just copy and Just paste it over there and build the application. Now, this I queryable here, this code is a link query that retrieves all the genres from the database. And the select list of genres is created by projecting the distinct genres. Now, this line 
entire line. Now we'll have to update the index view to add a search capability by genre. So what we'll do is we'll add uh, another section for the select list just above the title and uh, input box and then run the application once again after saving it we'll test the app by searching by genre, by movie title and by both just come on come on come on So I'll search by say uh, select so comedy that's comedy genre and then title romantic comedy just one and then all now I'll can try with title when when Harry met Sally and then comedy and then when nothing just to verify so it was under romantic comedy so if we click on romantic comedy and then Harry you would expect only one result thank you that's all.